Hi everyone. Today we're going to visit the resting place of Sheila McNulty, her husband Dennis, and her two children. Sheila is one of the daughters of Ronald Gene Simmons. Ronald was an was one of Arkansas's most prolific mass murderers of recent times. Uh, He decided to do away with his entire family, which he did over a week's time, on December 22nd of 1987. His first victims would be his wife, Rebecca, and eldest son, Gene, whom he beat with a crowbar and then shot. Then his three-year-old granddaughter, Barbara, whom he strangulated. He dumped the bodies in a cesspit. He had the children dig themselves previously. His next victims were his children arriving home from school on Christmas break. Loretta, who was 17, Eddie, who was 14, Marianne, who was 11, and Becky, or Rebecca, who was 8. Simmons told them that he had Christmas presents for them but he wanted to give them to them one at a time. As he took them outside, he strangulated them and held their heads underwater in a rain barrel, and then they were added to the cesspit. On December 26th of 1987, the remaining members arrived at the home. His next victim was his son, Billy, who was 22, wife, Renata, who was 21, both shot, and their 20-month-old son, Trey, who was strangled. The last of the family to arrive was his daughter, Sheila, 24, her husband, Dennis, 33, Sheila's daughter, Sylvia, who was 7, and son, Michael, who was 1. Now, Sheila and her husband were both shot, and Sheila's daughter and son, Michael, were both strangulated. And they were laid, they were laid out in the living area. The uh, son, Michael, the one-year-old, and the other grandson, Trey, were wrapped in plastic and placed in... Um, some old abandoned cars at the beginning of the property. Now, mind you, they lived on a 13-acre track out in the middle of the woods, and he was a fanatic about keeping his family isolated from the outside world, even though they did attend school. Now, Simmons made a trip into town to pick up Christmas gifts at a local store, Sears, and he stopped in a bar for a few drinks. Now, drove home where he spent that evening and the next day watching TV and drinking with his family, part of his family, laid out on the floor. On December 28th of 1987, he drove to Russellville. He purchased another handgun and visited a law firm there where his next victim worked as a secretary. He was enamored of her, but she rejected him. Next stop was an oil company where he shot and wounded the owner, who was also the owner of a mini mart that he had previously worked for. He then drove to the mini mart and wounded two people there. His last stop was a motor freight company. Now, he shot his former supervisor twice, wounding, but she did survive. He then took an employee by gunpoint to an office and had them call police, where he surrendered to the police quietly when they arrived. This is a very sad story. It was a very big story at the time. It was horrendous. But we are going to make a trick to speak with Sheila. Now, it is said that, and I think that it was proven, that Sheila's daughter, who was seven at the time, 
Remind you, she was 24 years old, so that made her, what, 14? No, 7. It made her very young when she was pregnant with a child. That the child was actually her father's child. So not only was Sylvia the daughter of Sheila, or the granddaughter of Ronald James Simmons, but was also his daughter. So come with us as we take a trip to the cemetery where Sheila and, and her family are buried. We're going to try to have a conversation with Sheila to see if we can find out what happened and to see if she is resting in peace. Okay, I came back to visit a certain grave in this graveyard. And um, the tragedy that has befallen this family is unbelievable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and visit, and we're going to try to do a spirit box session. I come in love, light, and respect. I mean, no disrespect to anyone. If I accidentally step on someone, I'm sorry. Huh. <sighs> This is a very sad story, as I'm sure I've told you a little bit about it in the introduction. But we came to see... We came to see the Man McNulty family here. Sheila, Dennis, Sylvia, and Michael by the sword of an assassin they are now safe in the arms of our Lord Sheila was the daughter of Ronald Jean Simmons um, and if anyone uh, anyone out there is aware of any of the history in this state uh, Ronald Jean Simmons was one of the most prolific mass murderers in this state, killing 14 family members, as well as, I believe it was, three other people in the area that they lived in. Sheila was the daughter that was killed, and Sylvia was actually Ronald Jean Simmons' granddaughter as well as <clears throat> his daughter this is a bad very 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 sad story um and i hate to hear it i remember when it happened it was the year after my my son was born they were born they were they were all killed on the 26th of december in 1987 um i remember how i felt when i heard about this and how it affected my life for years afterwards um, due to the fact that um, I did have some of that. Our lives paralleled in a certain manner. Dennis was obviously a great man. He knew, he knew that Sylvia was um, not only her daughter but i mean not only ronald's daughter but it was also his granddaughter so he was aware of the situation and he opened his arms and his heart to sheila and sylvia and i believe he did adopt her so unfortunately on the 26th of december of 1987 they went to visit the family and that's when the massacre did occur. Sheila and Dennis were shot to death by Ronald. And Sylvia and Michael were strangled to death. 
this is such a heart wrenching, heart wrenching story. But I'm I'm here because I want to try to reach out to Sheila and Dennis, Sylvia, and see if they would like to speak with us today. Um, please bear with me. This is an emotional journey, and um, I know it is difficult. But I really want to to see if we can get Sheila's side of the story, to see if we can get her to speak with us. Those two Vox and see if we can get anything that way. And then um, we're going to go to um, the Necrometer. Hello, my name is Brenda. Oh, yeah, good. I came to visit Sheila. King of murder. Yes, she was murdered. I came to visit Sheila and Dennis. <laughs> and Sylvia and Michael. I'm so sorry for what <laughs> has happened in your past. I just wanted to come, come to speak with you, Sheila, to see, see if you have anything that you would like to share. Yeah, that's probably. Sheila, we are so sorry for your loss and the loss of your children. Dennis, I would like to commend you that's good. for taking in Sylvia. And Sheila, and adopting Sylvia as your own. Sheila, if you're yeah. if you're here, Sheila, can you tell me, are you at peace, Sheila? Thirteen years. I'm just wondering, Sheila, what prompted you to go visit your, after everything that you had been through, what prompted you to go back to visit your parents at your parents' home? Find out. Were you doing it for the sake of your mother? Were you afraid of your father? Sylvia? Sylvia, are you here, Sylvia? Um, Michael? I see that you are buried with other family members here. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Can you tell me at what age did your abuse start? Were you aware that uh, your father had actually killed the rest of your family? <laughs> Sheila, can you tell me because... what, can you tell me what your father said to you? Present. He said he had a present. Did he take you off to yourself? Or will we see? 
e niente sì. Are you resting in Are you resting in peace, Sheila? It's hurt. It hurts. Sheila, do you can you tell me um Were you aware at all of your the fate of your siblings when you had arrived at your parents' home? Did you know what had happened to your mother? Okay, I'm going to switch this over to the necrometer and see if we can get anything else through the necrometer. Realigns. Realign. Sheila, I just came to give you an opportunity to talk. Tea? Yeah. Yeah? You would like to have some tea? Can you tell me, were you afraid when you went out to visit with your parents? Were you afraid? Frequency. Frequency? Did you visit very often? We will haunt. You will haunt? Will you haunt the property where you passed away? Sheila, are you with your children? Calculation. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Excuse me. You don't know if you're with your children? Are you with your other family members? Storage. Storage. Follow. Follow. Can you tell me what happened when you arrived at your parents' house? Were you afraid when there were no other family members there when you got there? One lost soul. One lost soul? Show me. Show you? Show me. What do you want me to show you? Were you aware that you had passed away?
Are you no longer in fear and pain? Flood. Flood. Scrape. Scrape. See if we can um, have a conversation. In the meantime, I do hope that you are resting in peace. Destination. Destination. Thank you, Sheila and Dennis, for allowing me to come out and visit. I'll come again on another day. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. Rest in peace, my friends.